Hello, today I would like to take the opportunity to give a brief introduction to you about my physical therapy background, as well as the uh, development of my clinic, uh, which is currently PT Works. So approximately 20 years ago, I started out in the industry working for a outpatient physical therapy clinic where I had the opportunity to take over a pediatric caseload for a therapist that was going out on maternity leave. At the time, I had no idea how rewarding that would be, but also how much it would impact my career as a whole. So after I took on that pediatric caseload, the beauty of it also was that I had the opportunity to work with outpatient orthopedics, as well as a variety of other conditions, including you know, head injuries, um, vestibular problems, uh, con common conditions like back pain, neck pain, knee pain, ankle sprains. And so I merged those two very different and unique um, skill sets together over the years to become who I am today. Uh, so approximately five years ago, I ventured into owning my own business, PT Works. I opened a clinic up in my home county where I went to school and graduated high school, Hamilton County. And for the first time, I was actually able to put my model into action where I had the opportunity to not only be a business owner, but to structure it so that I could effectively and efficiently provide care to the youngest. Uh, as I think I've had a child as young as about two months old, and at the time, someone as old as a 96-year-old, amazing, still driving, living at home, and taking care of all of her needs. And so it was a very dynamic, facility where we had a lot of fun. We worked together as a team. So what is physical therapy? I'm glad you asked. We are trained um, right now, the entry level degree is about a six and a half year degree to seven years in some cases. And during that time frame, we are taught the human anatomy in ways that um, you probably couldn't even imagine. When I was in school, we even had to dissect human cadavers to actually learn all of the muscles, the bones, all of the markings on the bones, as well as the nervous system and how the nerves travel through the body. And also to see the differences in how one human body structure can be slightly different from that of another person. And with that training, we were taught how to understand the way the body operates and all of its different systems, how they interact with each other, but also if something goes wrong with one of those systems, whether that be with the musculoskeletal system or with the neuromuscular system, um, we, uh, it, even if it was with the, the, uh, the heart or cardiology or um, other systems that, that come into play, we were taught how to evaluate and assess and determine whether or not there were problems that were directly associated with our scope of practice and whatever those problems were that are directly associated with our scope of practice as physical therapists. And we could then create a list of problems and ultimately devise a plan of action in order to be able to treat and help come up with a way to alleviate the problems, symptoms, functional limitations associated with the ailments at hand. We also learn how to do standardized tests in particular for all cases, but there are different 
types of tests depending on what age group we're working with. There are, there are tests that are specific for children who may have developmental delays, for kids who are not functioning at the level of other children their age. And so we can actually look at what they're doing, but also discern how they compare to other kids uh, on a national level and determine whether or not this child needs skilled intervention. So physical therapists are very valuable in my opinion, um, and I may be a little biased, but very valuable in helping to improve the quality of life of others. I was actually just speaking to someone who walked in a 5K over the weekend, and she wore a pair of new orthotics or inserts inside of her shoes for this race that she had actually not officially worn longer than one day inside of her house. And after that, now she has a lot of pain and irritation in the bottom of her feet. Based on just talking to her, her signs and symptoms, um, the mechanism of injury led me to be able to come up with a provisional diagnosis. And so that's another thing that we do. We come up with a diagnosis and then that helps us to discern whether or not we're gonna be able to take care of that case or if it's something that needs to be referred to another provider, whether that be back to a physician to do something more definitive in terms of diagnostics, testing, it could be x-rays, it could be MRIs, uh, it even could be imposing some other type of treatment like injection. Sometimes there needs to be oral medication that goes along with it in order to complement. Um, I've had cases, um, one gentleman, as a matter of fact, presented with condition a condition that seemed to be very uh, appropriate for physical therapy, but there were some red flags associated with it, and some of those red flags was the fact that his family had a history of cancer. So he had back pain and pain that radiated down one of his legs. The pain actually was relieved by changing positions and doing what we call um, he had a directional preference, meaning that I could move him in a certain direction and his pain was reduced significantly. So that sounds like it's an orthopedic related condition. However, with clustering all of the information that we had together, he was losing control of his bowels and bladder. Uh, he was in pretty much intractable pain when he was not doing the exercises and he also had a history of cancer. And true enough, right after that, he went in and had some additional diagnostics done and he had a tumor that had uh, grown around the spine and was putting pressure on the spinal nerves. That was mimicking orthopedic related pain. So we have to not only be able to diagnose the conditions that we are treating and worthy of treating and trained to treat, but we also have to recognize red flags and refer people out to the appropriate professionals in order to do the additional tests and measures that are necessary. So I am currently in Atlanta, Georgia, and I am providing services primarily to pediatric population from birth up to about 18 years old. I am looking to expand my brand into the arenas that I spoke to you about earlier. So in the very near future, I hope to be able to provide the, a wide gamut of treatment for physical therapy related problems. Thank you.